So tonight I'm going to be giving Darcy a massage and I'm going to show you a couple of techniques that you can use yourself at home on other people or anyone that's in your bubble um, during lockdown. And just to let you know, I've got a bath run, bull bath with candles lit and aromatherapy oils and lavender and chamomile in that help you sleep. Darcy is lay on the bed waiting now she could be laying on any bed or on the floor on cushions um as long as you're comfy and you set the scene up and over everything and you just turn that round so i'm using some what we're using almond oil i think it is with some lavender and chamomile in and I'm just going to pour a little bit of that onto my hands and I'm going to use deep, long, relaxing strokes which is called effleurage. So I'm going down the back. the sides so down the center on either side of her spine with a little bit of pressure how's the pressure Darcy fine and then up the sides and round her neck and down again now you do that about eight times scoop up the sides now you want to warm the muscles of the back up so we're gonna do Petrosage, which is small circular motions all the way up each side of the back. You never go directly down the spine, you always go on either side of the spine. So you want to warm the muscles up so that you're not digging in and creating any unease in any tense muscles that are cold. You want them to be warm. I'm running my arms down the sides and again up the middle of the, either side of the spine, right to her neck. Now most women hold tension in the shoulders, the shoulders and their lower back. So there's two areas that you can concentrate on. You can even clench your fists and do a fist-like motion to try and release the tension within the muscles. Another technique to use, so as, as, as well as your fists moving, you can use there, so you can push with the lower part of your hand. And that just gives your fingers a little bit of a rest because sometimes my fingers can ache when I'm doing a, I don't do a massage. And whatever you do on one side of the back, you want to always do the same on the other. So I'm just gonna tilt the camera down if I can. Don't knock anything over. Tilt the camera down a bit more. There we go. So you can see my movements. So one side of the back, I'm going to do now a few minutes in this kind of motion. I'm going to go all down the back. Oh, what was that? <laughs> well, that was a picture falling over. And then again on the other side. I've got a ghost, I think. Now I'm using my thumbs to work the muscles. I 
and you will be able to feel any knots that are held in the muscle or in the back, especially here around the shoulders. You can take the thumbs back and two. And then on one side, I can feel a knot there, Darcy. And then on the other side, we all hold tension there, no matter what age we are. I think it's just a case of holding your shoulders round your ears sometimes. And then every once in a while, I'm going to go back to effleurage, which is really long, deep, relaxing strokes. take my fingers down the spine and halfway down the back is where your scapula ends which is this part here where your um, arm goes back you can feel your scap scapula come out so we're going to go your muscles around there get really tense so we're going to go down the spine and round the scapula and sweep up the sides so just going halfway down the back. And then go over it with an epilogue stroke in motion. So after every petrosage session, which is deep, intense muscular rubbing, so now I'm doing this, down the side of the spine, round the scapula, I'm going to follow it, do that eight times. I'm going to follow it with effleurage. I'm going to stroke that out. And I can feel all the knots there. Now the one thing I wouldn't do is work on the knot, knots too much because they'll end up sore the next day. And you must always drink lots of water after you've had a massage because all the toxins that are within your body have been released and they're floating around. So it's ideal to flush them out drinking water. And one thing is quite easy to forget if you stood at the top end of the bed, which I'm going to move around now, is to do the neck and the head. In, they don't mind having the hair, your greasy fingers run through the hair with your oils of essential oils of lavender and chamomile. You can massage the head a bit like you're doing a deep wash and washing the hair, massaging the bed. That was the job, by the way, that bang, trying to get in. for a little while and you can also just give a little massage to the ears. Now ideally Darcy would be face down with her head on her hands now but she doesn't really like sitting like that. It's okay Darcy. Then you get to do both ears both sides of the neck, both sides of the head. We're doing the shoulders now, the tops of the arms. Now, if you're lucky enough to have somebody willing to do this for you, then great, because it is so relaxing and I love a massage. Especially around my shoulders, I've got loads of tension there. You can get them knots 
Sau. So lots of petrissage and then followed always by effleurage. Just deep, long strokes, a few candles lit, some nice relaxing music on. Do it on your bed. If you've got aromatherapy oils, great, because they'll help you sleep if you're doing it at night. But if not, don't worry. You can use moisturising cream, which, you have, which I'm going to get Darcy to do me after my bath, but with moisturiser. And I'll put my essential oils in there and hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep tonight. So you always end as well with an effleurage. And how I like to end is by separating both hands, one to the bottom of the back, one to the shoulder, press, and then meet again in the middle, do the opposite way, and press, and then strokes up the back. sides of the bed to concentrate on different areas but you should never let your hand leave the body. You should always maintain contact until you come right to the end. Like so. And that probably lasted about five minutes but yours can last half an hour or as long as you want in fact. So enjoy. Happy massaging everybody. <laughs>